So, sup you chuckle folks, it's your boy Dark Raku here with what if Issei had two sacred gears. Now, you probably wondering why the fuck I'm stuttering. It's because I record this, and I had this for 20 seconds, or minutes, not 20 seconds, 20 uh, minutes, and I actually deleted it. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Not the point, let me just begin this as what if so I can shut the fuck up, but yeah. But let me begin into this what if. So we begin into mostly a brownish hair boy with goldenish eye color. Of course, this is where goldenish brown eye color. This is where, well, he's feeling depressed and went because he lost against the riser. But of course, right now he's medium with this girl with mostly grayish uh, hair, kind of like grayish whitish hair. Of course, she has a maid out in bluish eyes. Her name is Gracefi Lucifish. And of course, this is where, well, she is mostly the maid of mostly and also wife of Sir Sex Lucifer. And also known as, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, Sir Zex Grammary, but not the point. But of course, the word, well, Issei is right now kind of like thinking about something. He is thinking about mostly when he did accept the contract to actually go save Rias. But right now, he's thinking and wanting to talk to Diedrich about something. Because he doesn't have much experience in battle experience or like anything. He's just a normal human. He's pathetic as hell. But of course, he was thinking about how he has zero experience in like, well, he has kind of combat training from Koneko, swordsman training from uh, Kiba, and also a training from Akuno. But the one thing he does lack is experience. And of course, also mostly train his body because he can't use a boosted gear for too long. Like, he can't even boost that long. Doesn't work well. He then realized one thing. Why would he even help Rius Grimmery when, well, mostly Rius Grimmery kind of forced him to be a devil and forced him to be in the supernatural and other stuff? Which he never actually wanted to do it because mostly Rainer, his ex girlfriend, killed him, and of course, this is where he was revived by Rius, uh, mostly Rius Grimmery, to be a pawn of her kind of whatever marriage. If she would have asked him, he probably would have said yes, but instead, she forced him into being for mostly when he died. <laughs> Does it work well? Issei is right now thinking, of course he goes into his mind script to actually go talk to Diedrich, or try and just think about this, he only thought about this because of anime, from Nar to fucking thinking into his like head, and right now seeing Karama, he thinks of what's it called, freaking, um, Diedrich as Karama for some reason, because mostly they do act soon today most of the time, but not the point, this is what, well, he then kind of, instead of going into the playing field of Diedrich where he will be at, he instead goes into a playing field where there's a bunch of, like, ruined castles and other things, and sees a being with so many heads that Issei cannot count. Issei kind of looks at this, gopes in an instant, and wants to shit himself, because this thing is horrifying. He is much bigger than Diedrich can ever be. He is... Like, he has wings. He, he looks like he had, like, four wings. But, of course, he has, like, four legs. On four legs. Three tails. Well, yeah, a tail. And then, like, kind of split into three ways. And then, like, then having, like, multiple heads. He kind of goes in this way. Well, all of them kind of looks at him. Like, all narrow eyes. With all the heads, like, going towards Isik. And, of course, where, well, they're, no, they're not going towards him. But just looking at him. And, of course, growls a little bit. with all of them. This is where Isik's like, um, uh, Hi? This is where, well, mostly Issei kind of looks at them. He probably is talking to some random creature. This is probably his nightmare. This is where, well, this looks like nightmare material. But, of course, the creature stays. Uh, one of them actually pops up. One of the heads actually pops up. It's a kind of black scale kind of, like, head. Of course, this is where, well, it kind of looks magma-y, somewhat like that. It has kind of orangey eyes, kind of orangey, uh, kind of, like, scarlet red eyes somewhere. And, of course, it kind of just says, hello there. So, you have so many questions, don't you? Issei says, yes, the first thing is, what are you? I'm a Hydra. Well, it's a kind of different type of species of dragons you see here. There are Wyrns, the Eastern Dragons, the, uh, what's it called, Western Dragons, and we are basically a Hydra. Uh, kind of related to that, the uh, Western Eastern Dragons, just a little bit mixed. This one, well, it's an artisan, okay. Hydra, what are you... We are also kind of a part of, well, mostly another sacred gear that you have. And don't ask if DJ knows about it because he doesn't. So, yeah. Also, I just wanted to come here to explain to you that you are quite pathetic and weak. But that's not really usual for humans most of the time. Since, well, me and another sacred gear do choose humans most of the time, but not the point. You will be talking to him later, but for right now, I am, well... I will tell you my name later. And yes, my name does link up with all these other kind of heads. 
So don't try to start naming us. I had a host like that that tried to name all the heads. Don't. This is where you say not. It. But before I go, you should also know. You should probably like ask Sir Sex for three favors. That's where Issa said, the, you mean the Lucifer? Yes. Ask him for three favors. What are those three favors for? Idiot, think of it in your head. First of all, the first one is to free Rhea's Grimmery, even though I know you don't want to free her because she was basically the one to force you into the supernatural bullshit. But who cares? The second one is to become a free devil. Now, I will help you out with those evil pieces to turn you back into a human. Don't mind about the human years or whatever. Also, the third one is whatever. You can think about it. But for right now, you should probably train and figure out how to get more experience and battle experience and other things. Probably go into some kind of like military or probably martial arts training or something. Oh, no. This is what well, he thinks about it in military training. He does remember how military does train like a lot of people. Of course, either if they have like terrible combat skills or like tr uh, terrible kind of physical kind of like training skills. He thinks that maybe he should join the military. He then thinks about it and maybe he should. He remembers something about like his grandfather being in the military. He can't remember which, but he will figure it out. It doesn't work well. Mostly the Hydra says, other than that, you should probably go meet the other one. Then after this, do not tell Dietrich about any of this. He say not it. Of course, he then meets the Thunder. Well, mostly does like, not Thunder, mostly he meets up mostly this plane field and of course this view decides to disappear even the hydra disappear and of course everything turns into basically becoming black clouds up in the sky and of course where the ground is just completely dark you can barely see it but of course there's rumbling up in the sky like thunder and lightning different colors of thunder and lightning like the lightning is either like blue red lightning and gold or some kind of color and even white but not the points but this is where well Lightning decided to strike down to the ground, but it was thunder this time, and this is where, well, something appears right in front of Issei. Mostly the view of him, like, looking around, trying to see what he needed to see another creature. But instead of seeing another hydra, he sees a bird. A bird that looks like a raven or a crow, but, of course, this bird has about, like, four wings. Its colors are, like, a lightish kind of bluish flame color, but, of course, it also has, like, this lightning blue color that's crackling around it. It has an eye, like it's mostly standing on, on top of an eye. It looks like this. Oh, uh, wait, fuck. Mostly, it looks like this right here. It's just standing there. But, yeah. But, of course, it's standing right there. And, of course, it's just looking at Issei. That's where Issei says, who, who are you? This is what, well, mostly, the bird says, first of all, I'm not an owl. So, yeah. This is what, well, so I'm not an owl. So, why are you calling me who? This is where, well, mostly Issei sweat up to say, no, I mean, this is where the bird says, no, I know what you're talking about. I'm mostly, well, uh, if you want to know what I am, I'm basically a Thunderbird. I'm basically an enemy, well, mostly I am a Thunderbird, but I'm a Pacific type of Thunderbird. I'm a Shadow Thunderbird, mostly a Darkness Thunderbird, but whatever you like to think about it. I control two elements at the same time. Issei nodded, saying, oh... And if you want to know any more questions about, like, the mostly, just tell me anything. This is where, well, mostly, you say, I see. Um, what is, what was the Hydra talking about, about mostly having two sacred gears? You have two sacred gears. I mean, it would consider it to be three, but we don't count the long as anything. This is where, well, mostly, you say, switch up and say, I see. Also, before you continue on, I would like to tell you that mostly... Similar to like the Langitis, uh, mostly sacred gears, the Langitis has a little type of mostly seal from gods. But we, me, mostly me, and also the Hydra, do not have the seals of God because we created ourselves because we're bored. And yes, I just like traveling most of the time. I don't know why the Hydra did it, but he did it. Awesome. He says, switch up, says, I see. This right, well, the Thunderbird said, other than that, uh, what else do you want to know? Um... Uh, mm, that's where Issa says, those, uh, how do I get stronger? How to get stronger? Hmm, my recommend, well, my recommendation is probably to join a military. I don't know what type of military you're going to join, but whatever it is, it should be good. And besides, it gives you enough combat experience and training and other things. I used to have a host like that who usually went to becoming a Marine or something like that. You know, Marines are a type of military branch of, well, mostly the Navy, but not the point. And this is where, well, mostly he's not it. He thinks about it and might join it. 
Hmm, because he does need battle experience and other stuff because, well, he is thrown into the supernatural without a care in the world thanks to Rhea's grammar and her selfishness. That's what well, we'll see Issei said. Um, about those three favors that she asked uh, Sergex Lucifer. The first one is to free Rhea's and then the second one is to free myself. How would I do that if I'm still a devil? Oh, I can help you about that. I can actually get rid of the evil pieces. Your body won't be able to kill itself if you have the same regeneration as like a thunderbird. I see. And what do you mean a thunderbird being the rival, uh, mostly the rival enemy of a phoenix? Because we are. Mostly all thunderbirds and phoenixes do not like each other because of what different type of elements we don't use and use and other things. But yeah. But of course, I do not really care on fighting against phoenixes because you see here... I haven't seen another phoenix bird, but not the point. Also, the fact that I do not really like fighting too much. I mean, I fight, I can kick someone's ass, but still, i rather explore the world, see what humanity has built, and other things. See all the delicious food. He says, what Thompson says, I see food. Hey, don't judge me. Hey, at least I'm not a freaking breast lover excess bastard who actually got tricked in becoming a devil. This is where, well, he says, what Thompson says, that is true. This is where, well, we'll see... The Thunderbird said, other than that, you should probably use those two favors as, like, those likely. Also, do not use the third one. Just use it as a leverage thing against Sergex Lucifer in the near future or something. I see. That actually does make sense. That's why the Hydra say recommend three. Yeah, and that's probably the limit that you could probably use. Um, other than that, uh, I will be transforming your body somewhere to a Thunderbird, but not much. You will be able to use the Lightning and kind of Infinities for mine. Also... Do not use anything higher from blue lightning and purple lightning. Uh, recommended not to use white lightning, reverse negative lightning, or red lightning. So yes, those three lightnings that you should not use because it will hurt your body like hell and can probably kill you uh, or probably knock you out and be in a coma. And we would rather not you be in a coma because we don't know what the heavenly red dragon is going to do. Since the heavenly red dragon has zero, and, well mostly zero patience to having a strong host, he will probably leave your body. Similar to what we can do, we can usually leave mostly people's bodies. That's what Sacred Gears can do. The Red Dragon Emperor might do that in the near future. We don't know. We are a little iffy with the Red Dragon Emperor. We don't really even talk to him, Bernie. And he barely even knows that we're here. So don't tell him anything about that. He said not and says, I, I see. Okay. Um. So not to use any different types of lightning in order to hurt my body. Yes. This is where he said not and says, I understand. That's where, well, mostly the bird says. Other than that, you should probably be going then. This is where, well, mostly uh, the Thunderbirds. Do not tell Diedrich anything. You will be talking to him anyway. Bye. This is where, well, the plain view and other things disappears in terms of a fiery kind of plain view. To see a western red dragon that's actually smaller than that of the Hydra. Literally tiny size in the Hydra. This is where, well, it has one head and, of course, red scales, green eyes, and kind of red wings. But, yeah. That's where, well, he says, uh... This is where Diedrich says, what happened to you? Where the hell were you at? I was like, thinking that you were able going to get to the Mindscape, but it seems you got lost in the Mindscape. Ah, oh, damn it. This is where, well, Diedrich crumbles underneath his breath. This is where, well, mostly he says, sees how, how Diedrich is very, very, how should I say, um, mostly complainish, similar to that of, like, Karama, but yeah, not the point. This is where, well... Issei said, I want to free Rhea Scrimmy, just like the similar talk that he talks to Diedrich. Diedrich just decided to take a part of his body, mostly his right arm, to be able to use 10 seconds of the Red Dragon kind of balance breaker. But yeah, only 10 seconds. Now, we go into a time skip of mostly Issei deciding to do something before going towards mostly uh, the fight between Rise and Phoenix. And of course, he can't use any holy items like the cross or holy water in the match, but yeah. But of course, it worked. well, Issei is fighting against Riser just like the original canon, busting through the thing, telling that he will free Rhea, Scrimmy, and other stuff. Everyone's shocked. This is where mostly Sarsex will uh, give him a favor, but Issei asked for three, which mostly confused uh, Sarsex, but decides to nod to see how talented Issei will be in the fight. But of course, mostly when Issei used to balance break to fight against Riser, of course, he only had uh, mostly a couple of seconds left until he lost and of course this is where he smashed into a wall But this is where well he was hurt by being burnt in the skin and of course some of his flesh was pointing up But this is where lightning started crackling around him trying to heal his body Which Issei was annoyed the fact that Ryza doesn't like that And of course Issei's eyes almost became slick similar to that of like the well Thunderbird 
of course, the word, well, Ace rushes as Riser with mostly this Holy Lightning appearing in his left hand. Of course, instead of Holy Lightning affecting his body because he's a double still, it seems not to hurt him. Of course, Ace punches Shadow Riser in the face, making Riser hurt his body because mostly this Holy Lightning does hurt his mostly face thanks to the fact he's a phoenix and also he's a devil. But yeah. This is where, well, mostly both uh, Riser and Issa are fighting. This is where, well, we go into the mindscape of a red dragon right now sleeping while two other beings are watching this. The Hydra questioned the Thunderbirds in, in, in its choice in giving Issa access to lightning. But not just the blue and purple lightning, but also access to the different types of lightning that he can use. Holy lightning being a Pacific one. This is where, well, mostly the Hydra asks him and why. This is where, well, mostly the Thunderbird says that he did it because he wants to see how Issei will be skilled enough, or mostly in its instance, will be skilled enough to kind of use different types of lightning, but not the strongest ones. This is where, well, the Hydra says, you realize he's a devil, but he's not getting hurt from the Holy Lightning. The Thunderbird cuts him off. Hydra kind of just growls and decides to grumble and says, whatever then. But... <sighs> Why would you let him even use the other lightnings? Couldn't you block him off from not using them? You're not like the goddamn red dragon that's lazy ass right now sitting there. You're a different type of being. This is where, well, we'll see. The Thunderbird says, I wanted to see. I want to see how skilled he would be able to defeat. Well, mostly the Phoenix when mostly just using different types of lightning, but holding himself from not using the other types of lightning. This is where, well, we'll see. The Hydra can see that Issa is battling uh, the Phoenix very well. That's smart. Well, he says, fine. You just make sure not to let him die or something. Besides, you're also, uh, well, mostly the Thunderbird says, you also are going to have to help him. You know that uh, mostly dragon arm? If the red dragon decides to leave what's it called, the part, uh, our partner's body, you know what to do next, right? <laughs> mostly uh, the Hydra says, yeah, I do. I know what to do. Not the point. <sighs> mostly, uh, the uh, Hydra says, yeah, I know what to do. And I know the Red Dragon is willing to leave what's it called this person's body because he's not patient enough since he's just a normal human that he got mostly put in. I wonder how the white one's in. Maybe the white one's basically in Lucifer's descendant's kind of body. This is where, well, most of the Thunderbirds say, sheesh, the red one's going to get screwed and whoever he gets puts on, whatever. That's the white one. Well, see both of them chuckling, but yeah. Diedrich is still, like, snoring and sleeping. He didn't actually pay attention to the other two beings because he didn't even know their existence or there, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly Issei was fighting against Riser, and this is where Blue Lightning appears in his other hand, right now in his kind of right hand, and started punching the shit of Riser multiple times, giving them the fucking combo. But of course, he doesn't know how to fight very well with hand to hand combat, so of course, he is barely able to hurt him that much. He would kick him, but he, then again, he doesn't want to, like, miss his combo, so of course, he keep punching him, keep hitting him with Holy Lightning from his left hand. This is where, well, all the times he strike Riser, Riser was getting hurt more and more, and of course he was getting more angrier. Of course, at the same time, his Phoenix, uh, mostly his Phoenix flames are reacting towards the Thunder, mostly Thunderbirds kind of aura and energy. So of course he already knows that he's a threat, and we need to defeat him. This is where Riser jumps away, of course flying with wings up in the air, and this is where he says, "I'm not dying." This is where, well, Riser right now makes a huge fireball, which Issei needs to concentrate. This is where, well, he needs to send an attack to try to pierce uh what's it called riser's attack but he doesn't have anything because he only ha knows how to do hand -to combat until he thinks about something from a different anime with a green a uh, green kind of name ne what's it called a green name making who actually does something similar to what he is going to be thinking about this is what well Issei puts both of his fingers mostly it appears a garlic like a bluish garlic that seems to be only covering up two fingers, mostly his index finger and his like middle finger from his left hand. And this is where, well, Issei then kind of puts both of those fingers together. They're like claws, the other two fingers are not covered up and neither, neither his thumb. But this is where, well, Issei puts his two fingers up to his forehead and this is where Issei is concentrating. Right now concentrating all the holy lightning that's inside of it. Looking at Riser, Riser is sending a huge fireball strike towards Issei. This is where Issei says, SPECIAL! This is where he points his fingers up in the sky, and this is where, well, mostly he says, SPECIAL BEAM! This is where he points his fingers together, straight towards Riser. CANNON! This is where a huge, 
like beam of just holy lightning just straight up goes right through uh mostly riser flames and hit him right in the chest riser was coughing up blood and of course thanks to the holy lightning just hurting him more and the uh thunderbirds kind of lightning anyway because he also had a blue lightning into it it was hurting his body and of course he was uh, his flames would could not really help him so of course he fell down to the ground and of course passed out and turn into blue, uh, like blue particles. This is where Issa was teleported back towards the um, mostly stadium. Everyone was shocked. They were like, "What the fuck, huh?" Of course, they were. Well, mostly Issa says, "I see." <sighs> Damn it. This is where well, Issa did not want to pass out until he tells mostly uh, Surjax and what he wanted. Surjax like, says, "So what do you want, there, Red Dragon Emperor? I want Rhea Scrimmery to be free. Also." Before I go back to the human world, is there somewhere that I can lay down for a bit? Because I still need to talk to you. Issa needs to ask, what's it called? Surtex. Surtex says, do you need Rhea Skrimmery with you? No. This is where mostly Rhea Skrimmery kind of became sad. After hearing that Issa said no really fast. And this is where, well, Surtex nodded. Okay. Then I will bring you to a special room for you to rest up. This is where, well, Rhea tried to complain to her brother trying to get to her pawn because she was happy and she wanted to actually kiss him and other things but of course we'll see he said wasn't going to let that happen nah motherfucker he's going to become a chat <laughs> nah damn it not the point but of course the work well mostly Issei is kind of sleeping in the room this is where well he wakes up after like five hours this is where well he kind of like opens the door to see gracefully and this is where gracefully is like right next to the door and this is where Issei says i need to talk to sars x if I may, this is where Gracie be nodded and of course brings Issei towards mostly Sarsak's office after kind of being happy to be able to free Rhea Scrimmery from mostly the marriage and other things. But yeah, this is where, well, mostly Sarsak says, ah, a Red Dragon Emperor, do you need something? Issei nodded. This is where, well, mostly Gracie be kind of left just to let those two kind of talk. Issei says, I want to become a free devil. This is where, well, mostly Sarsak almost like cough up saying, what? Huh? Wait, what? Wait, 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 kid, I... This is where, well, Issa says, I ask for three favors. So one of those favors to get rid of mostly my evil pieces to become back into a human. I never ask or even, well, mostly dream to become a devil. I was forced into becoming a devil just because I was near death. Thanks to your sister. And this is where, well, mostly, sorry, sorry, not it. I, I, I see. Um, but I can't really reverse the devil pieces from your body. Issa says, no need for that. This is where Issei right now puts his hand right into his, like, chest. And this is where Thunder was crackling in his, like, chest. And this is where, well, he removed the double pieces without even hurting his own life form. Or even, like, life, uh, lifespan. Instead, it actually increased a little bit for being too hungry. This is where, well, mostly Issei says here. This is where Issei tosses the evil pieces that had Rias. And they're still glowing red. They're not cracked or any of that. They're not corrupt or any of that. They're mostly still normal. This is where Issei says there. Either you make me, well, I don't really care what you do, but I'm now a free, back to being a 100% human, and no longer a devil. This is where, well, mostly Sersek nodded, but what about Rias? Oh, sorry, I'm not going to be in the school, you should probably tell uh, Sona and Rias about that. I'm not going to be in the school, because, I'm... so of course, this is where, well, mostly uh, Sona and even Rias, you tell them about the fact that, well, He's not going to be in the school anymore. This is where, well, mostly, uh, Sir Sex Six, what do you mean? This is where, well, uh, Issei said that he's going to join a military school somewhat. He's going to, well, join a military kind of branch, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly he said that he's going to do something like military, somewhat like that. This is where, well, mostly Issei kind of, uh, mostly told Sir Sex. Sir Sex nodded and says, I see. Well, I will be, hmm, I see. This is where, well, mostly Issei kind of said, so there's my explainment. This is where, well, mostly Sarsex not and says, I see. Well then, that is it gets the second favor. What is the third favor then? Right now, Sarsex asks, well, Issei. Issei said that that will be, well, later. This is where, well, mostly Sarsex says, later, what do you mean? I don't know what I'm going to do for the third favor. I guess I'll just use it as leverage. Sarah's like switch ops and says, I see. You're quite smart, you know that. Well, thank you. Other than that, bye. This is where Issei walks away. Issei says, how do I get to the human world without mostly using magic? Issei switch ops. This is where Sarah's like says, uh, 
You sh oh, sure, you want to help you. That's where mostly search to decide to help you say, but yeah, instead of using that third favor for whatever. But this is where, well, we go into Sursex kind of bringing Issei back to the human world. Issei's back in the human world in this world. Well, he kind of decides to call his grandfather. Now, this is where, well, he never called his grandfather for anything, but this is where he actually calls him. And this is where, well, Issei kind of asks his grandfather if he's still in the military that he goes to. That's where his grandfather decides to answer back and says, no, I'm not in the, grand in the military, but why are you asking? Can I join? It's easy to say. With a very determination kind of like mostly tone. That's where his grandfather chuckles and says, says, hmm, are you finally uh, following in my footsteps or something? That's where, well, he says, hey, something like that. Well, can I join it or are you going to say no? Hmm, I might think about it. So, what about school? Oh, uh, it's fine. I already asked him that I can have a free week months off. This is where, well, most his grandfather looked his eyes and says, are you sure? Yes. This is where, well, he's saying, grandfather says, fine. Then I will, hmm, I'll give you a location and, uh, mostly where to go, okay? This is where he's saying, no, that says, yes. This is where, well, his grandfather decides to hang up and decides to, well, was he not hang up before just telling him the location, but yeah. This is where, well, he said gets to the location the next day, of course, decided to, uh, not tell uh, Rias or Bernsona of where he's going, but yeah. But of course, it's where he meets up with his grandfather, but this is where I'm going to leave it off because I need to be going, and maybe I'll come back and redo it. Because, well, I fucked up in a couple of things, but other than that, bye, so yeah.